What's up everyone? Welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm Nick Walsh and today we are looking at the Loom Cube Professional Lighting Kit. Now this guy is a travel lighting kit that's meant for content creators and anyone who's on the go. We're excited to use these for our production of Ready Take Live, a live show about live shows. Uh, we shoot that show in micro studies out of our master control room so we've been looking for the perfect lighting solution for that since we started and we think we might have found it with this. So these are two 1500 lumen lights. You can control the brightness and strobes over an app that you can download and this will shoot out at uh, 5600 Kelvin and it comes with a ton of options for shaping and controlling the light. Um, what's also great about it is it'll last for over two hours at 50% or about a half hour at full blast and it's also waterproof so let's take a look inside. So uh, let me just take everything out and we'll take a look at it one by one. Got some barn doors. I'm gonna try to make this as perfect as possible. Um, got, these are our units here. These are two snoots for controlling the lights. Um, and we got some fun stuff here, some diffusion bulbs and more. Uh, let's take a look at what's inside here. Some accoutrement. Cool. So this case looks awesome. You'll probably be able to throw it in a suitcase or something like that, but I'm just gonna put it off to the side for right now. And let's take a look at the units. So we got one of these. This will shoot out at 5600 Kelvin natively, and it also shoots out at 1500 lumen. So two of these will be 3000 lumen, which is not bad for a light of this size. Um, the top of it, you have a quarter 20 mounting plate. Uh, you can also see over here, it comes with a shoe to quarter 20 converter for a DSLR camera or anything with a cold shoe. Um, we're probably gonna use it on our micro, so we'll just get little Noga arms um, to plug these guys in there, and then we still have control over them. Um, flip them around here. That aluminum housing looks really powerful. Powerful. Um, so I wouldn't be afraid if I drop this or anything like that about uh, losing the light. Um, we also have plus and negative buttons and a power button here to control brightness. Here's the actual sensor uh, that will produce the light. Uh, on the back of it is where you plug it in, LoomCube LCV2. Let's, if I open this inside, this is a USB-C charger, so that means it should charge pretty quickly. Um, it comes with over here two USB-C to USB 2.0 chargers, so that means you could use a brick that you already have. Uh, notice that it didn't come with one, so you're gonna need to make sure you have one of your own. You might be able to plug this into a computer or something like that. Otherwise, there's this manual here, before I get into all the accessories, that kind of goes deep dive into how to set it up with your phone and some other features about it. Uh, so yeah, so it gives you the tutorials here, and also it shows you how to set up with the app. It's over Bluetooth, so you just gotta set it up like any of your other Bluetooth devices. Uh, um, so it works just like that. So now let's look at the accessories. So what's really cool about these is that everything's magnetic. So you don't have to screw anything on, you just like place it on and you're good to go. So it just snaps in like that and now you have barn doors. So this will help you control some of the light and direct it here. Um, this is huge. I find like a lot of the lights that are this size don't have any kind of control on the outside. It's just really putting diff or gels. So the fact that this has little tiny baby barn doors is super cool. Um, coming over here, we got a snoot. Uh, so this is if you want a really tight accent light that's like sharp. Um, this will let you do that. And it comes, everything comes on and off so easily. I love it. Um, this does the basically the opposite of the snoot. Uh, this is a diffusion bulb. What I really like about this is it's different than the other smaller lights because they normally give you a plate or just a little piece of diff on it, but it doesn't really help you make the bigger light source. Because uh, if you really want diffuse lights, you, you need a bigger surface area on your beam spread. Um, so yeah, so under the... Um, diffusion bulbs are some more things. Uh, we got some honeycomb. This will help you make the light harder um, and it'll help you keep any glare out of your lens and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so it just slaps in just like that. So you could use this if you're looking to um, reduce some flare that you might be getting out of it. Um, so in here also are some gels. I think you could just put them right on top of the frame here and they'll just magnetize on top of each other. Um, I wonder if I could use the magnet to pull out the honeycomb. Nope, no, okay, I got it, yeah, yay. Um, so, uh, they have each of these different kind of gels, so you have like, I'm not gonna put them in because I'm probably gonna get them stuck again, but you have a bunch of different colors here. Um, this, this is a RGBY, um, so you could do that for some kind of fun effects. It has a strobe on there, so if you need just like a party light or something like that, you could use it for that. Um, whoops. Uh, so yeah, so it comes with some other CTO if you're looking for a more tungsten-y look. Uh, it comes in four different levels. Um, 
Because it gives you two, oh yeah, it gives you two level ones and two level fours. Um, so imagine that's just different color temperature values as I drop all of these. Cool. So yeah, so that's awesome. That gives you two. I wish it gave you a little bit more um, control in the warmth level. It looks like it's just two different kinds. Um, but yeah, I wish you could get a little bit more, but it still should probably get you out of most jams if you need to. Uh, and over here is just some diffusion. It gives you two strongs and two lights. So you could use these on set both of your two lights with um, the stronger light, depending on your situation. And they look pretty good. They're that, it, you can see how blurry it is. You can see how much it's diffusing the light. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get one of these on. And so there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to get all of our unboxing videos and the latest episode of Ready Take Live. Also, if you have a product that you want us to unbox, make sure you hit us up at contact at and we will unbox it for you. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one.